Welcome to United TV. I am Bree. This morning we are in Fort Lauderdale at the Tower Club checking out the Yes We Can Moms event. Let's go. with the founder, my amazing friend of Yes We Can Moms, Michelle Brown. Hi guys. Tell us about the mission. You know, I really created Yes We Can Moms to unite moms in positivity and moms that really want to be great mothers, moms that want to be great partners and great friends, and moms that want to be great leaders, whether that be in the house or on the PTO or volunteering or professionally in the business world. And I really wanted to help moms realize there's so much that can unite us, we can learn and grow, and most of all, I just wanted to bring together positive moms to be the very best that we can be in life. Tell us why you love Yes We Can Moms. I love Yes We Can because it's an inspiring place for all these moms and women who are powerful to work on themselves as well as look at other women and get inspired by them to take that next step, take that push on that goal that they're looking for. So it's an amazing place to just really get inspired for that next step in your life, which I love. We really need to support each other and empower each other, do that self-development, and really educate each other. And it's a wonderful organization of friends and support. I love gathering with the tribe of women that are all connected towards a greater goal, building businesses, building families, building their community and the energy that comes from all of that is magical. This is really a great organization and movement of just women supporting women. Uh, whether it's professionally or personally, we're here to make each other's lives better. So I'm really happy to be here today. The meaning behind the entire organization is phenomenal. I took a big risk by starting my own company and already being a mom is a full-time job and then to start your own business, to go after your dream, it's a scary thing. Just because you're a mom doesn't mean you can't have it all. So. I think that, uh, that this is a great place to spread inspiration and motivation and get women to just go after it. How us moms roll. What is your biggest piece of advice for women that want to grow their life, grow their impact? I would say two things. One is to embrace change, right? So change is scary, we all know that but you gotta do it, so embrace change. But I would also say in what we're doing here today, network. Don't just gather people just to say you have this huge LinkedIn profile. Um, do it meaningfully and do it where you're actually connecting with people. And it's not enough just to do, what, what can you do for me? Well, what can I do for you? And then, you know, find great mentors. I am so fortunate to have such amazing mentors. But I also stopped and said, you know what? I, these, these mentors have gotten me to where I need to be. Who can I mentor? How can I help someone grow? And so be a great mentor to somebody. Find the best balance that you can. Um, now my business is four years old. I don't have to be the main person. We we do have now other influencers and they can now sell it to their people and they can make videos for us and they can do it. So now I'm able to every now and then when it feels appropriate, I pick it up. Dana goes on Instagram. I talk for devotion. I make videos. But I have found the balance where now I can put my phone down. I focus on my kids and the puppy and all the stuff I'm supposed to be doing. And so, yeah, it's finding your balance. I think sometimes we think we have to do something big, like just epically big, and that that's going to be the purpose, right? It always starts off something small. Like you just make an act of kindness or you just help somebody and then somehow, I, I mean, I'm, I believe all of that boomerangs back. So I don't want you to sit here and be like, these women are changing the world. Like you can change and impact somebody on a small level and I promise you that wave will come back big and your kids and the people around you, they're watching. They're watching, they're observing it and they're present and, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. When your daughter runs to your nanny or your mom, thinking that they're the main caretaker, it kills you, like there's a part that dies and, and you're just like, oh my gosh, like 
I need to step it up again being a mom. It is always that back and forth struggle, but that huge thing that I've done is being present. When I'm at work, I'm super present. When I'm home, I take in every aspect of my daughter, but being present is my biggest advice for everyone because it makes a huge, huge difference. I think it's well known that when you have a very tight circle of female friends at work, you're more likely to be successful. And then personally, we all know, right? Science always shows like female friendships are proven to make you happier. We're each other's support system. And lastly, the studies show that um, female friendships really are correlated with longevity. You know, I work in oncology and there's a lot of studies in uh, cancer that cancer patients are more likely to survive their cancer if they have close family members or even a social connection. The positive energy felt here today was unreal. Moms coming together, learning from the top experts so that we can all live our best lives. Make sure to stay connected on the website, yeswecanmoms.com, for all the updated information. Until next time, I'm Brie, uniting you with the world, one video at a time. Bye.